which ordered pair x y is the solution to the given system of equations so we have these two equations here and we need to find a value of x and y that satisfies both of these equations which means that the left hand side and the right hand side both will equal each other when the solution x y is plugged in so we can do that by taking this y value which is equal to 6x minus 12 and plugging that into this equation so when we do that we get that 6x minus 12 equals x minus 2 times x plus 4 so this right here is just equal to y from the second equation and we just plugged it into the first one so then we can expand out this right side so 6x minus 12 is just equal to x squared plus 4x minus 2x minus 8 and then we can move the 6x and the negative 12 to the other side by subtracting so 0 equals x squared so 4x minus 2x is just 2x and then 2x minus 6x is just negative 4x and then negative 12 if you take that to the other side so negative 8 plus 12 is just equal to 4 so we can factor this by splitting the middle term here this negative 4x into negative 2x and minus negative 2x so 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 2x plus 4 so we can see here that there's a 1 here as the coefficient of the x squared and 1 times 4 is just equal to 4 and we can see here that negative 2 times negative 2 is also equal to 4 so when you want to factor by grouping like you want to factor this quadratic you have to s split the middle term into two terms whose coefficients when multiplied together equal the number th that when you multiply the a term so here 1 times the c term the constant so 1 times 4 equals negative 2 times negative 2 and this will allow us to factor by grouping because if we take an x common out of the first two terms so we'll be x times x minus 2 this just equals the first two terms and then from the second two terms we can take out a negative 2 so negative 2 times x minus 2 and then we can take out this quantity x minus 2 common out so we'll be left with 0 equals x minus 2 times x minus 2 which is just equal to x minus 2 squared since we're just multiplying it by itself so this equation here let me write this over here 0 equals x minus 2 squared is true when x equals 2 because 2 minus 2 is 0 and 0 squared is just 0 so the x value of 2 satisfies this equation so now we know the value of x and we can just find the value of y by plugging it back into this equation so we'll get y equals 6 times 2 minus 12 so we just plugged in a value of 2 for x so we'll just have y equals 12 minus 12 which is just 0 so y equals 0 so the solution is an x value of 2 and a y value of 0 which is answer choice C now there's a faster way of solving this by using the graphing calculator you have in the testing software so you can open up the Desmos graphing calculator and just here plug in the first function y equals x minus 2 times x plus 4 and it's red here this quadratic and then the second function 
this blue line here, y equals 6x minus 12, and just look for the point of intersection. So when you click on approximately where they intersect, Desmos will automatically give you the coordinates of the point. So here it tells us that these two lines intersect at the point 2, 0, which is the solution to the system of equations. So you can just graph them in the graphing calculator to find the solution faster than doing it by hand. And the answer will be the same, which is C.